I'd like to take the time this week to talk about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who had big dreams about social justice, equality in education, equality in the workplace that touched all people. Dr. King's work and his words united people who became inspired to make important changes to our laws. Dr. King delivered over 350 speeches in his lifetime, his most famous, we all know before a crowd of 250,000 people who filled the Washington Mall in 1963. I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. But something you may not know is that Dr. King made two visits to Jersey City. The first in 1965, when he received an honorary Doctorate of Laws and Letters degree from St. Peter's College, now University. The event wasn't without controversy, though. There were threats to the college, the school had to defend its position, and it was King's deep spiritual principles that motivated his civil rights work, which matched perfectly with the goals of the school. In his acceptance speech, Dr. King told the crowd of 500 that the idea of one's race superiority over another's has to end. It's a message that sadly still resonates today. The second time Dr. King was in Jersey City, he spoke to a diverse group of 2,000 Jersey City residents from all over the city, including students, politicians, doctors, workers, and congregants who crowded into the Metropolitan AME Zion Church on Bergen Avenue to hear him speak. By then, he was a Nobel laureate, and Dr. King told the crowd to stand up for what was right with nonviolence, a theme he repeated often in his all too short lifetime. Less than a week after his visit to Jersey City, King was shot and killed in Memphis, Tennessee. So as we remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. this week, we will continue to seek ways to work together on issues that affect us all, from poverty to education to gun violence. So to honor Dr. King's legacy, you can find volunteer opportunities at Serve Jersey City. The website's on the screen right now. And on that note, I will see you next week for another update.